This is a social experiment where I gathered eight players and put them in a circle. The last person to leave it wins $400. This is like the game show Survivor. It's a game that tests your social skills because politics will take place, alliances will form, and I'll be playing psychological mind tricks that will push the players to their limits. In fact, there's a button outside this circle, and once I activate it in five minutes, it'll start to cause chaos in the circle. Also, if you haven't already, join me on my journey in hitting a million subscribers by the end of the year. Now, before the challenge starts, I'm allowing all the players to select one item of their choosing to help them in this challenge. They can choose entertainment since they'll be stuck in there for hours. Or they can choose something more strategic like meds because in this circle, there's three ways to be eliminated. First, the obvious, stepping out the circle. The second way is dying at any point in the circle. And finally, every one hour an elimination challenge is held where if you fail, you're eliminated. So let's go see what the players choose for their first item. Everyone line up, we're gonna do items. I'm like a Cory. Baz, welcome back to the circle. This is your second time. I want a Bradley Christ. All right, Baz, what'd you get? That's not bad. I want a C4. Can I get a supply signal? Hopefully this lands in the circle. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> All right, I will take a flashback. All right, let me get an admin car. OT Liam, we actually have our first OT representative joining the circle. I need to play to my strengths here. I need the AK. Now, OT Liam is a member of Oil Team, which is the best clan in Rust. This clan is known for having the best PvPers in this game, and having Liam in the circle already makes him a big target. Everyone knows he's the best PvPer in this challenge, so it might encourage people to form teams against him. We have Brawlo. <laughs> Welcome back to the circle. Your third time today, Brawlo. For now, can I just get a uh, high external stone gate? Brawlo here is a legend in the Circle series. In the Circle series lore, Brawlo has made it to the final two not once, but twice. One challenge away from winning the prize, but fumbled the bag both times. I I'm happy for you, man. Congratulations. So this is Brawlo's third time joining a circle video. He's experienced. He knows how to survive till the end. So it could also make him a big threat as well. All right, now the challenge has officially started. If you step out of the circle, you're eliminated. And every one hour, we'll do an elimination <laughs> challenge and you'll be eliminated. Are you guys ready? Yes, yeah, sir. Oh, yeah. Sir. But unfortunately, I have to tell you guys something right now. What? what? Uh, there will be one person eliminated right now. We are about to do our first elimination challenge. So everyone, please gather in the middle, guys. For the first challenge, you all will be given pogo sticks. These pogo sticks are very hard to control and they're boosted so it makes you jump higher. You must stay inside the circle while bouncing and the first person to lose control and bounce out the circle first is eliminated. I've never the used play? the pogo stick. I've never so used it either, bad. dude. That's so bad. All right, players, equip your pogo sticks and start jumping. This challenge is now on. Oh, this is already terrible. I'm going forward. Players are starting to move now. I see everyone jumping. People are losing control. Dude, I'm so hard. Oh. Azer is really losing control. Azer needs to get it together now. Dude. Azer was the first one to bounce out the circle. Everyone else is safe. Oh. Oh, oh my that god. was quick oh Holy. my god that was scary and if the contestants thought that was scary there's still six more elimination challenges they'll have to survive if they want to win the 400 hundred dollar prize Bye, Bye, sir. Sir. glad you were first <laughs> Damn! I uh, wish I would have lasted a little longer. Had some like, great ideas, great plans. This pogo stick is uh, garbage. Out of everyone in that circle, who do you think is going to win this challenge? Brawlo's going to fumble the bag, and Keza's going to somehow win. Now, it was time for Acer to leave the server, but it was time for me to reveal the final challenge that will be happening later in this event. At the end of the challenge, so when it comes down to the final two, I'm going to bring everyone back in, and we're going to do a vote. So eventually, you'll be brought back in. Are you? Would you you be down for that later sure so in the final elimination challenge where there's only two people left from the circle all eliminated players will get to come back and vote on the winner the players in the circle have no idea so however they play could determine if they win in the end if they're being toxic or making enemies it could backstab them later in the event because no one would vote for them as the winner so it'll be interesting to watch how these players compete not knowing that this will happen later in the video all right congratulations everyone that was the first person eliminated how are we feeling Very good. Amazing. <laughs> Uh, those pogo sticks are yours to keep. Those are very risky. If you do jump out of the circle with those, you are eliminated. So now since we had our first elimination, I think it's time to introduce the players to the button. But I want to show you guys something. Do you guys see this right here? This yeah, is, what's the button about? This is going to be a new addition to uh, oh the circle video, guys. What's going to happen is 
I'm just going button, to dude. start the switch. <laughs> what? And right now, that counter is counting. It'll count to 60. And if it counts to 60, an alarm will go off. And that means you guys will have a punishment. In oh. order to reset the timer, you press the button and it goes back to zero. But if at any point, this timer and alarm goes off to 60 seconds, there will be punishments activated. <laughs> Alright, so boom, you just reset the timer. Good job, Vince. Good job. Yeah, no problem. So that means one of you guys will have to reset this. So don't, don't forget that. Now, although it seemed like an easy task this button would soon start to cause conflict it so it's all in our collective interest and never let this exactly exist. it is yeah. collective interest but that's not go fast 60 or else okay, everyone okay. suffers wait wait check the timer yeah, the timer the timer. 30 <laughs> seconds <laughs> what if someone decides to sabotage okay. it you might, get 59, huh? you, you might want two people you know because uh, someone might want to like sabotage it and let it go to 60. the contestants had to figure out how they were going to keep this button below 60 seconds they could take shifts one at a time but what if someone's not paying attention and they forget they could go in order and form a line, but that takes too much brain power. This button would cause a lot of stress knowing a punishment could happen if they missed the timer. Alright, uh, I need everyone to come over here and look at me real quick. I have a little announcement that I want to show you. I've been making videos ever since 2015. In fact, you can still see my very first video I uploaded eight years ago. Hi, what's going on guys? Fanserve here. Now, throughout these eight years, you've seen my content drastically change and improve all under the Fanserve branding. From things like simple random farming videos, give me random items in this game, then bigger 100 player experiments. Currently, there are 125 players on this map to go on to make massive community events endorsed by Face Punch themselves. We've come along way under the fancy orb brand and for the very first time my fancy orb character has come to life. YouTube's has been a dream sponsor of mine ever since I was a kid, and my blue character all dressed up is now in the form of a plush. Now, who knows where this channel will be at years from now. I could be at 2 million subs, 5 million. You getting this YouTube's will mark your loyalty as a viewer by getting the first collectible of this channel. This is my first piece of merchandise ever, and it will never be available again. It's only available for 14 days at $30. And if you aren't able to buy one, that is completely understandable, especially in today's crazy world. You watching this video already supports me enough. And if you do decide to get a fancy orb YouTube's, please send me a screenshot in my Discord so I can personally thank you. I rarely do sponsors, but this one is special to me. So let's get back into the video. Contestant Doc threw his supply signal that he chose as his item at the start, but the funny thing is, there's still a chance it could land outside the circle and be completely wasted. But it did provide temporary entertainment for the circle. Nah, bro, well, I put I, it in the middle, like, as possible, so... Weather no, I think, I think that's landing in the circle, for sure. It should, it should. I'm, like, standing right under it, it looks like. Nah, I, I think, I think. Oh, that's 100% out, holy... Yeah. Nah, you're trolling me. <laughs> that's definitely out. No. Oh, no, we're sliding out, yeah. Oh my god, they got the 55! Did, right did it get to 55? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, do not forget the timer. There needs to be two people on that. And it all ended up being for nothing. And then that is actually far out. And just to rub it in his face a little more, I told Doc he could have had a C4, two guns, some armor, and ammunition. What? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, damn. That's a good airdrop, though. All right, uh, now that I know there are teams going, I'm going to grab a couple of you guys for interviews. So apparently there's some teaming going on. Are you in any teams right now, Liam? No, I feel okay. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of worried. Uh, you put me on a pogo stick. It kind of, kind of role play for me. I was kind of worried. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to stay alive much longer. But so you're you're uh, soloing this by yourself? Yeah, I don't plan on teaming with anyone. Honestly, um, I actually am cool with the punishment. Uh, I'm not pressing the button. Oh, wow. I'm hoping that goes by. Look, they look pretty distracted right now. Maybe we get lucky. Now, OT Liam is like the lone wolf of this group. He knows he's the biggest target, and because of that, he's refusing to press the button. This causes tension in the circle now because it's one less person to help avoid punishments for the entire circle if the button reaches 60 seconds. Hello, are you in any teams right now? What's going on? Yeah, I'm just kind of snooping about right now. I'm... Alliances are alliance will help in the beginning, but you know at the end there has to be one winner. So Rollo here knows the reality of the circle. These alliances being made will eventually fail because there can only be one winner. Rollo has had many alliances in past circle videos betray and fall apart, so he's a seasoned veteran when it comes to this. But then I interviewed Freetech, who would tell me some important intel. I figured something out. Yeah, B George is hundred percent trying to get that timer to run out. Oh, really? Sure at fifty six seconds. There was another player named B George who also refused. To to press the button. Now there were politics starting to form in the circle all because of the small little button. Oh, 
Uh, are you working with any teams right now, B. George? Not at all. It is just me versus the world. What do you think about that button over there? Do you have any opinions on that button? I'm gonna let that button hit 60 seconds. I got caught staring at it at 56. <laughs> I pushed it. So there are two people who are lone wolves refusing to press the button. OT Liam and B George. While everyone else is working together to press the button and keep punishments out of the circle, these two don't care and would rather have chaos. Now although B George and Liam said they're lone wolves, they might start an alliance together because they have a common goal in mind. We, we got uh, time I went to 56 seconds while you were doing it. <laughs> yeah, I heard uh, I heard it got very close. Uh, Honestly, I think George just wants to circle. see the world burn. Is that true, George? Everyone's kind of blaming you here to not press the button. What's going on? He was looking yeah. right at us. He's being a bit malicious. Hey, like, I, uh, I am curious what happens, but like, mm. so is Doc. Uh, I think everyone's curious, but I don't think it's a curious you want to find out, you know? Why don't we just, just, why don't we just really make a like... line and we just all like go through and just <laughs> press, it line. And press it, go to the back <laughs> of the line. I like how this button is causing politics. Everyone's lining up it. except for OT Liam and B George who are not lining up. I'm cool with the punishment. Oh. I'm fine with the punishment. B George and Liam are the only two ones. Okay, look at them standing next to each other. Like, tech doesn't look fast. Yeah, yeah, that, that looks a little sus, bad. bro. And right here is where I see the definite teams. The good guys who are contributing their due diligence by pressing the button and taking turns. And the bad guys who are off to the side not helping the circle. But remember what I said to the first contestant who was eliminated. So when it comes down to the final two, I'm going to bring everyone back in and we're going to do a vote. You'll choose the winner. Eventually, at the end, all contestants who were eliminated eliminated will vote together on the winner and these actions might cause b george and liam to lose votes if they get to the final two nah bro they're definitely in quick chat right now <laughs> these guys are on their villain arc right Good now team chat. damn pretty solo man Thank you. It was five minutes before the next elimination challenge, and the players were heavily considering letting the button hit 60 before the challenge. Oh, why, why we got three people? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, dude. dude! I thought you guys were gonna do it. I thought you guys were gonna do it. Because the elimination challenge was about to happen, the players were thinking it would be more strategic to let the button hit 60 before the challenge. I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of, how bad could it be? I kind of want it to happen. It kind of eliminated all of us. It's entertainment. It's entertainment. All right, guys. Honestly, like, do we just figure it out now so it doesn't happen later? Yeah, exactly. Let's... By the way, it stacks. It stacks. <laughs> it's a new punishment every time. So once the first punishment happens, or if it does, the clock is going to reset. And, like, you'll have to keep worrying about this. I don't want to let it go. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I want to click it. Right, if you want to click it, click it. No, if you want to click it. I don't, I don't want to know what no, happens. No, no, let's do it. Oh, no. Liam pressed the button, Liam. I thought. The elimination Liam challenge. That's the first time. Dude, what wow. challenge? OT Liam, for the first time, clicked the button. It showed me that there was still fear in the back of everyone's head on what would happen if the timer hit 60 seconds. It, it, just this once. <laughs> just this once, I'm pressing it. After the challenge, it's in like five minutes. Then now I'm going back to the team, not pressing the button. Guys, ready for the second elimination challenge. One of you will be eliminated after one hour of being in this circle. For the second elimination challenge, you all will be receiving a Molotov. There's an NPC outside this circle that you must kill with your Molotov, but you have to aim it so the fire spreads and burns onto your NPC and kills it. If you miss, you go back to line and start over. The last person to kill their NPC is eliminated from this challenge. Oh no. Whoa. Okay, okay. Who that first. is? Tough, bro. Also, for elimination challenges, the button is temporarily turned off since the contestants need to compete in the challenge. Brawlo wants to go first. Let's get a line. Let's get a I'll line. I'll go going. next. All right. First up is going to be Brawlo. You can throw when you're ready. Brawlo does not kill the NPC. Brawlo is at risk of being eliminated. All right. For the airdrop. Oh, he got Doc that. Doc also misses. Oh, well, okay, okay. Oh, that is a kill! Oh, Tech oh, is no. safe! You can go ahead and sit over on the couch. You are not being eliminated. Fez misses. B George is short too! Keza is also short. Oh Damn, my. Holy. Everyone was failing this challenge except for Free Tech. But it was OT Liam's turn who had a different strategy for this challenge. Dude, he's doing a lineup. What are you doing right now? Is, is, is this gonna work? OT Liam was using his AK item to his advantage to line up the angle to throw his Molotov. No. Nope. Oh no way. But he still misses. Oh. Oh, oh no. 
gets the NPC. Doc gets it. Yes, B George kills the NPC. He is safe. It was now down to three players. Contestant Kezo was about to go up next, but little did he know, B George was going to use his item to ruin his chances of being safe. All right, but oh, Keza, you can throw it when you're ready. Oh! oh. oh. Wait, I let go and it just dropped. What happened there? The flashbang went just, off. No, that didn't land. That what hit the? off. Who's flashbang yeah, with that? Someone just. D George just used a them. flashbang to <laughs> mess up go. Keza. <laughs> what the? Baz gets it. He's going out. Liam oh, gets it. Oh. Keza, I'm so sorry, my friend. Keza was now eliminated, all thanks to B George. Everyone, everyone gather around Keza, please. It's time for him to- let's go over here. OT Liam recognized what B. George had just done, and this would prove to everyone in the circle that alliances are crucial to survive. Keza, it is time for you to leave the circle. And right before Keza left, he quickly dropped the C4 item he chose earlier and gave it to Brawlo, in hopes no one would pick it up before him. <laughs> Bye, Keza. Oh! oh. oh. Alright, Keza. It is time to get your interview. Let's go to the interview room. You are unfortunately eliminated. How are you feeling? At the end of the day, we all know what needs to happen today. Rollo is gonna take home the dub. No matter what happens, I gotta get out of there at some point. When it gets to the final two people, uh, what I want to do is bring everyone who is eliminated back, and you will be voting whoever's oh the final God. two in there. So. Yeah, I can be around. I can be around. Congratulations, you guys have survived that elimination challenge. All right, everyone, everyone line up. We're going to do items, and then I'm resetting the timer. After every elimination challenge, the players get to select one new item they want in the circle. I'd like a key, key lock. Here's your key lock. Thank you. Oh, my God. Hey, hey, he did volunteer to go first, so. Free Tech placed a lock on the gate, which means only he can open it, which gives him a huge advantage in the circle, considering the gate is right in the middle. I'm gonna need my supply signal. <laughs> He's going for it again. Let's go. Can I get a drone? I would like a high external stone wall. I'm going high external wooden gate. Just give me ammo. <laughs> All right, uh, the timer is being reset, guys, so it is back. If it goes to 60, there will be a punishment. Everything was just calm in the circle and everyone is happy they survived the second challenge. But something terrible would happen very soon. Yeah, Doug, yeah is it, is it airdrop time good. again? Are we, are we going no, for round two? No, we're good. Oh. I, I'm kind of feeling it. Oh. We gotta do it. Oh. No. What, what I knew, I knew he was trying to play oh something, bro. Oh my god. That's messed it up. Still hit it, though. B. George had placed his stone wall item almost completely blocking off the punishment button. Now, over half the visibility was completely blocked off on the right side, and there was only a tiny section of the button you could reach. B. George just made everything 10 times harder in the circle. Stop. B. George just did something horrible to the circle. I don't know if you guys see this. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna risk stepping around that thing. I mean, you can reach it. I mean, you can reach the button for sure, but... Uh... Because of that wall and what B. George did, tensions were becoming very high in the circle. Now everyone realized there might be a punishment coming soon because it's a lot harder to press the button now. But to lighten the mood, Doc had thrown down his second airdrop in hopes that it'll land in the circle this time. B. George, what, what, you haven't said anything since you placed this wall. You want to, like, speak and explain to the group why you would have done that? Nah, you know. I think, you know, it just needs some renovations. And as Doc's airdrop was coming down, the players were being distracted by it again. And the button was left all alone. Pretty mid, and by mid, I mean middle of the circle. The wind is good, so it should drop straight. No, that actually might be a bit out. Doc, it's not looking good. It's kind of close, but at the same time, it looked kind of far out. It's not gonna no. land in the circle. You're no, 0 and 2. No. Yeah, that's way out, bro. This is actually so dumb. Inside that, that box you over go. there. Oh, yeah, I got a worm too. Yeah. Oh, nice, nice, nice. The Do timer worms. has hit, and there will be a punishment. Bro! You guys let the timer go past 60, so I'm gonna turn this off. Nah, bro, he had a no goofy smile on his face. He knew it was happening while we were talking. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> After one hour and 30 minutes of being in the circle, the timer hit 60 seconds for the first time. It was quiet, as everyone didn't know what was gonna happen. It definitely brought down the mood for the circle, as there was only one person to blame for this. It was B. George. Alright, uh, your first punishment is on the way. What do you mean by that? Probably water rising. He's gonna choke me. Oh, 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 o
meteors will now spawn at random on the server and this is going through the entire challenge every few minutes a meteor will come down it's oh completely my. random it could do damage it could kill oh. you as well it could damage your buildings but this button doesn't stop there because there's a new punishment coming if they don't press it again uh watch out because Sparlow, you've dealt with meteors in the first circle video uh so yeah and some of those got really close but timer's yeah. back on, and next punishment will be different. So, uh, meteors are now active, boys. Oh, wait, I gotta take a bathroom break. All right, while well, he's gone, I'm, I'm gonna go too. Two players needed to go AFK, which means there's only two players to press the button since OT Liam and B George refused to help. And this is where the circle's downfall would begin. Oh, there's another meteor. Oh, shit. Oh, oh no. shit. Oh, shit, that's coming right after us. That's actually. If so, it's AFK and it's hitting them. Oh, whoa, that's really close. Oh, my God. That's. Oh my god! <laughs> Alright. Well, those are meteors for you. No! Oh, oh, and the timer again! <laughs> oh, come on. The group is falling apart. Uh, so there's gonna be a landmine, so watch out. Landmine in the circle. Oh, okay. The circle was now falling apart, and a new punishment in the form of a landmine was placed in the circle, meaning it could kill and eliminate someone. Don't then, tell them, don't tell them! Alright, I just got back, so I know what's happening. Now, if you guys do work together, you can remove this. You see, this punishment is avoidable if the players work together. In Rust, if someone steps on a landmine but doesn't move, you can have another player help defuse it. It requires trust, but OT Liam is the only person that chose a gun as one of his items, and he can shoot the landmine, forcing it to blow up. And obviously, no one is going to trust Liam. I mean, Liam, you are the only one who could just, like, shoot it out right now. Oh, there it is! Or I don't can. I just saw it twice. You can, you can also stand on it and have someone pick it up. So, Liam, will you do the good thing? Because you are the only one with the weapon. But, Bez, you do have a C4 as well. No! I don't think can get rid of it. Bruh, he has many bullets. I have one C4. It just takes a couple shots to actually set it off. After five minutes with this landmine in the circle, OT Liam had not moved from his position, watching that landmine like a hawk. He knows it's his one chance to eliminate someone, and everyone in the circle realizes he has this power. I'm wondering if anyone for will forget, but Liam is keeping that landmine in sight. I feel like he is waiting for someone to get near that. Bro, I'll be damned if I go out to a landmine. <laughs> not about you, but I'm on button duty. Right, sure. has, 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 has anyone no, I'm, done I'm here, here to I'm here to benefit the circle. Has anyone done you wrong yet? Mm. I guess Brad oh. is stealing my C4. He tried it. I forgot about it. You Wait a second. Somebody who Hold won. on. How much HP did Liam get you to, Bez? Uh, oh, six. Out. Six HP? Oh, oh, no way. Liam almost no way. killed Bez. Bez, how did you forget about that? Uh, I don't know. I was uh, I was talking about it. What? Bez, you <laughs> almost... Right, clutch. <laughs> right, uh, with that being said, we're going to start our third elimination challenge. Here we go. For the third elimination challenge, you guys will be teleported on a twig frame cubicle above the circle. At any point, if you fall off this cubicle, you're eliminated from this challenge. But the catch is, you all will be given flamethrowers. You can use these flamethrowers to break the twig below you and knock someone down below. But balance is a huge factor because if you lose your balance in the process, you could accidentally eliminate yourself. It's up to you to play offensively and try to eliminate someone, or play defensively and wait for someone to drop before you. The person who falls off first is eliminated. Oh, bro, spleef. Oh, no. <laughs> Literally spleef. That's crazy. <laughs> also, for some context for you guys, PvP is disabled so the players can't kill each other with the flamethrowers, but they can still use their items to their advantage. All right, three, two, one. No Liam way! Fell. OT Liam has been eliminated. Oh, what? baby! No way! No way! Everyone, uh, gather up. OT no, Liam. No, he's tough. I'm not gathering up. OT Liam, you may step out of the circle. Damn. Get out of here. <laughs> oh my god. Right. GG. Liam, so. let's go get your interview. Bye, Liam. Damn, man. Bye, All right, Liam. Liam. Oh, it's actually kind of fun. I had, a, I had a plan set up. I thought I was on the edge of the corner. I was going to burn all of them off and kind of section them. I thought I was on the corner and uh, I fell right down, straight down. And that was that. Out of everyone in the circle, who do you think is going to win this challenge, though? Honestly, I said I had no teams. And honestly, I didn't I didn't have any loyalty to the B George guy at first, but he threw that flashbang. So I can, I can appreciate that. I, I gave him all my stuff, actually. So he has my gun. Oh, really? And, and the yeah, bullets, yeah. too? And 
Yeah, yeah, he has everything. I'm gonna have all the eliminated players at the end come back, and you guys are actually gonna vote for the winner. So the final two people in no there, way. they will plead their case to the jury, pretty much, on why they should win, and you'll cast your vote, and whoever has the most votes will win. Yeah, yeah, just call me or DM me or whatever. I'll probably be him. Alright, it is that time again where you guys all get one item to select for the circle. Everyone line up. I'm gonna contribute to the circle. I'm gonna get a recycler. Doing the recycler! Let's go! Look. Don't be here! Look at how that's happy true. they are! Is that good? Oh yeah, that's perfect. Now, having a recycler helps the players a lot because they can recycle their items which breaks down to resources. And they can use those resources to craft even more items. Can I get a computer station? I will take another high stone wall. High stone- Oh god. Yo, guys. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Guys. Right, there you go. Uh, Thank you. Let's give All right, I'm gonna have to open these Pringles out. for the depression I'm about to feel. All right, free tick. Can I have a hike right. from the wood wall? No, that can't be allowed. That can't be allowed, bro. B. George had just screwed everyone in the circle. It's now impossible to press this button, which means every 60 seconds there will be a new punishment, and all of these players would probably die within 10 minutes ending this video. We can't even go back there. <laughs> it can't be allowed. Sure, sure you can. You know, just take the risk on the, you know, little, little <laughs> oh red bug of dreams. It's oh. guaranteed we die. Oh my god. That's no, not. You just gotta be careful, you know. Just don't die. Don't oh. step I love how B. George is probably gonna die to his own fall because of the elimination. B. George. Yeah, I hope so. you, know, you know what? Even if I go out. B. George, you, you don't know what you up. have done. You don't know what you have done. <laughs> That's all right. I'll take it. All right. Mm. Who's next for tech? What would you like? And I have high external wood wall. But there was still one chance left to fix this because Baz is the last person to choose his item. Can I ask for like uh, ten? Hold on. Wait, wait, Baz. Let me let me just step in here for a second, okay? Do you see those two walls right now? Baz, yeah. you're the only person that can actually save this. So when I activate that timer again, it's pretty much going to be a disaster for this circle. But you have one C4 right now. Oh. If you choose another C4, you can remove both of those walls and save everyone right now. Baz, you're our only hope. Baz, you can only remove one because it's two C4. Baz had an important decision to make here. The players stared at him as his decision would decide the fate of the entire circle. He already has a C4 that he stole earlier, but if he chooses another one as his item, he'll have enough to break down one wall and save the entire circle. I don't think you want punishment after punishment because, like, people will die in here, Baz. Who's... Also, before you answer, those people could be you. Yeah. <laughs> Bruh. This is unfair. You know what? Just give me a C4. I'll blow it up. Baz does it, guys. What a beast. Gotta respect it. Gotta respect That's cute. it. You're Baz. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> Here's your C4 that you chose. This is back end challenge. I'm resetting the timer. The timer is currently active right now. Alright, and the button is now visible. Baz just saved the circle. I don't think you guys realize how much appreciation you should be showing to Baz oh, no. here. I realize. Mm -hmm. Baz had saved the circle and now all things are back to normal. But B. George was still going to cause trouble in the circle after his plan was ruined. B. George, oh, are you just holding the Who's holding the recycler? Quite yeah, a shame if you can't use it. Oh, B. George is just destroying the circle right now. He is pissed that he just lost his. B. George was camping the recycler because in Rust, only one person can use it at a time. And he wasn't leaving the recycler so others couldn't use it. You know, George, have fun looking at the recycler for an hour. Uh, I will. Have, to, have fun taking that L because you're being led by a guy that only loses. Oh my god. I don't know. Yeah, thank it's you. the first time he's in a circle. He doesn't know what's he doesn't know what's going on right now. That's true. Like guys, Brawla has the most experience here. He knows <laughs> hey, the circle. Hey, give this man in a map. Out. Yeah, I think the next punishment I'll announce it. Do you guys want me to announce it? Yeah. 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 Uh, the recycler will be removed from the circle if oh, you guys okay. let this button go over 60 seconds. But because half the visibility of the button was still blocked off, the players would continue to struggle on keeping up with the timer. Nobody needs this. Am I allowed to like say woo next time? There is a punishment, oh. and the recycler oh. has oh. been oh. lost. All right, baby. Damn. Crazy. All right, the recycler is gone. You're so focused on me being in the recycler. You guys are staying on top <laughs> of that button now. 
Yeah, we, we literally do for like 15 to 20 minutes and then we just forget about it. Because there's some people who refuse to do button duty. That's what I've noticed. With just five minutes before the next elimination challenge, Brawlo had placed down his computer station and drone he's been saving up for. It's also an item he could potentially use to his advantage and cause distractions for future challenges. Brawlo, what is the plan with this? Like, how does this drone benefit you or is it just for entertainment? Uh, a little bit of entertainment and also I can use it to monitor the, uh, the button. Hey, we got the drones. Buttons. We got tubes. Okay, boom, it's, it's, boom. it's looking a little lively and we're dancing the circle now. Hey, we're vibing in the circle. It's looking a little lively in the circle now. Things were looking a little hopeful for the circle as people were just dancing, playing instruments, and vibing out. But the next elimination challenge was about to begin and one person from this group would be leaving. Uh, all right, you guys ready to get into the next elimination challenge? No. Yes, sir. But maybe... The fourth elimination challenge. There are six NPCs outside the circle in a bowling pin formation. You all will be given a grenade, and one at a time will throw your grenade at the NPCs, knocking down as many as you can. The player with the least amount of pins knocked down is eliminated from this challenge. Oh! <laughs> I knew it. Why don't we line up and see who wants to go first? All right, first up is Brawlo again, wanting to go first. You may throw it when you're ready. Well, that's a good one. Oh, oh my god! Bravo gets a strike, god. Gets a strike on the first grenade. Kobe! Oh, I'm talking about. That looks good. Yeah, come on. How do you guys do it? It was Baz's turn to go next, but Brawlo had brought out his drone and was using it as a distraction. Now, remember, Baz stole a C4 earlier from Brawlo, so Brawlo was doing this as an act of revenge. Bra can you stop? Oh, <laughs> Brawlo. Hey, it's his item, man. <laughs> Want me to use my items? <laughs> oh! That's the damage to it. Oh, no. That'll take out both the drone and that. Oh, oh no. wow. Baz. Wow, Baz did it. Wow, that's a rip, dude. All right, Bez, you can throw when you're ready. Bad. Well, let's see if you get karma, bro. <laughs> Is that going to be circle karma? Oh! Oh! Oh, no! Does that mean I'm out? Not yet. Not yet. yet. That means everyone on the couch, though, is safe. <laughs> it's down to B, George. Will that one pin cause you to be eliminated, Bez? B George, this is down to you. If you miss this, we go into overtime, but if you hit this, then Baz will be eliminated. B George realized he had the fate of another player in his hands once again. He turned around to look at Baz one final time before throwing his grenade. Oh, Baz eliminated. Oh, no. no. Baz, I'm so sorry, my friend. R.I.P. Everyone Real. gather around, gather around. You were a soldier of this circle, okay? You saved this circle, Bez. You saved everyone here, but it's time for mm -hmm. you to leave. All right, Bez, you may leave the circle. Okay. Yeah. Bez has been eliminated. Bez, let's go get your interview. Everyone say goodbye to Bez. Bye, Bez. Bye, Bez. Mine, was Bez. Mine was further away. All right, Bez, after that, how are you feeling, man? Not so good. Uh, out of yeah. everyone in that circle, though, Bez, who do you think will win? It's gotta be free tech. Oh, free tech. Why is that? Us. We're, we're teammates. When it's the final two, everyone who is eliminated is going to come back and vote on the winner. So, uh, will you be around in a, in a few hours for that? Yeah. All right. Sounds good. Go ahead and log off here. I was so confused. Uh, man, guys. I how are you feeling after that one? I know you ask us how we feel normally, but how are you feeling I, after that I did that not one? want to see that, guys. That kid did so much for the circle, man. For this round of items, I'm allowing anyone to remove an item from the circle instead of selecting a new one. Uh, does anyone want to remove anything from the circle? Oh, actually, I would no. like to remove the gate. Can I get another computer station? I would like 5.56 five, five, ammo. You know, we just lost a really good friend in the circle, <laughs> and I would like to commemorate him with a gravestone. Oh, It's for you, Baz. Congrats, you guys have made it to the final four. Woo! Let's go, baby. Wow. All right, uh, I'm resetting the timer now, but when one person is eliminated, the button will be no more. And, uh, you know, just because I'm feeling a, uh, a little devious right now, I'm actually uh -oh. going to do something. Right. I want you guys to pay attention real quick. 
Because I'm about to play something, okay? You can do whatever you want with it, okay? In the end, it is your choice if you want to interact with this. Now, I'm about to play a huge mind trick on these contestants. Throughout this entire challenge, I've been training these players to press a button and psychologically engraving it into their heads for the past four hours. But I'm about to place a sign that says don't press the button. What will these players think when they see a sign that says this? Will they actually listen and not press it like it says to do? Or will they think it's possibly a reward and use it to their advantage? No one knows what this button Button does yet until someone presses it. Oh, I know oh, exactly nah. what this is. Don't press the button. So uh, that's just gonna tease you right there psychologically. Yeah, there's the mental warfare. Press it. You won't. <laughs> Insta press. Um, you know it's it's got Wait. some nice decoration here. A good aesthetic. Oh, what the? Oh. I got it. B George was just eliminated. <laughs> oh yeah. my God. B George pressed the button. It is eliminated. <laughs> Dude. Wow, crap. Well, ain't no way. Well, that worked. Um, <laughs> oh, all right, B. God. George, you were eliminated. You died in the circle, so uh, yep. it's time to grab your interview. This was just a test to the players to see if anyone was going to be greedy, and B. George failed the test. I, you know, I was honestly hoping that it'd be like a reversal kind of thing where like presses it, gets an item. I was looking hoping for that. Be what I say, you gotta take risks sometimes. When it gets to the final two, I'm bringing back everyone who was eliminated and together as a jury, you guys will vote. You will be voting for the winner. So uh, will you be around for that? Indeed. Fly drops, wow, <laughs> wow guys, holy <laughs> shit. That was... <laughs> That was the goofiest thing I ever watched. You just walked up, just like I got it. For that price, guys, <laughs> what, were, what were you thinking when I placed that? Now that it's gone, like, was there any thought in your head, like, oh, I want to press it? Like, no, no, no I knew exactly I was what that was going to be. No chance. Keep forgetting, like, you yeah, guys, cool. you guys have made it final three, so you guys deserve a fireworks show. Every yeah. final three, let's go. It's a fireworks show, so let's let's get some chairs down. No more button <laughs> either. Say goodbye to the button. Yeah. It's a tradition in the circle series that the final three contestants get a fireworks show because it marks that this challenge is almost done. We're just one elimination challenge away from the final two who will plead their case in front of all eliminated players of why they deserve to win the $400 prize. And the contestants still have no idea that will be happening. But for now, the final three get to take in the moment after defeating all the contestants before them. There it is. Oh Let's my. go. Oh so pretty. Final three, guys. You're almost to the end. You know, Fancy, I've seen this fireworks show too many times. It's getting a bit, it's getting a bit, uh, depressing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is same. nice. This is nice. This is nice. <laughs> yeah, let me enjoy it. Let me enjoy it. Well, if you guys are happy with this, are you guys happy with going into the next elimination challenge? Yeah, let's, yeah, let's get it over with, I, I guess. I don't think I have a choice. Now, although the final three players respected each other, in the back of their heads, they knew one of them had to go home, and the circle was going to decide this. <laughs> I, I, know, I think I know. <laughs> I know it! I know it! It's the wheel. It's, it's the wheel, isn't it? I oh, know it! Gotta be fucking kidding me, Vince! Uh, guys, you know what? You know it needs to happen, alright? Uh, no, I refuse! I refuse! <laughs> the shape of this challenge is a circle, and it's the same shape of a spinning wheel. It's a tradition ever since the first circle video years ago to have a spinning wheel with everyone's name on it to decide who is eliminated. Now, this is the only challenge that is completely luck and no skill but it's symbolic because it's the circle's way of saying you are not worthy. After all the things these players done throughout the hours of being in the circle, the good, the bad, the circle sees it all. And the circle will decide who is most unworthy of going on to the final two. Listen, I know this is tough. We have to get in our boat. We have to get in the boat. The wheel decides your fate. <laughs> it will always decide who is worthy. That is just how it is. It is a tradition <sighs> of the circle series. The wheel is ultimately telling us who does not belong here, all right? Dude, oh, yeah. this is honestly the most painful way to go out. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's already so, just, not even skill. Good luck, guys. Good luck. Best of luck to you guys. I think it's time. All right, there's no going ahead. back. Whoever this wheel lands on will be eliminated from this oh. challenge. Gentlemen, good luck. No, dude. Oh, I don't want to look. I don't want to look. That's the first time I lost to RNG. Frollo, it is, uh, 
The circle has spoke <laughs> again. Yeah. It is just not your time. Oh. It's always a circle, man. Oh, Damn man. circle, man. I'm so sorry, oh, Bolo. Guys, go ahead and... Uh, I, I wanted this one for you. I really did. Go ahead and say goodbye, Prolo. See you later, guys. Good luck to the both of you. Thank you. No. <laughs> That's so bad. Prolo has Dude. been eliminated. That hurts, man. Prolo, let's go get your interview, man. I was feeling pretty good about this circle. I was just, I was just cruising along. I was just doing what I knew best, and uh, I guess I gotta say, you know, I, I perfected every challenge up to this point. Well, for the first time ever, out of three circle videos, I'm now asking you. Out of everyone in that circle, who do you think will win this challenge? I, I want to root for Free Tech. When it gets to the final two, which you are looking at the final two right now, mm -hmm. everyone who is eliminated will come back as a jury, and together you guys will decide and vote on who you want to win. Yeah, it should be around. Gentlemen, how are we feeling? Hello. How are we, uh, feeling, we have I, very I mixed emotions. I feel terrible, but right if now. you look at me, I'm smiling huge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I feel so bad for Bralo. Like he, this yeah. was his, this was his time. It must have been for a reason. The circle clearly have, has spoken today. The circle controls everything here. It is very spiritual in here. But uh, with that being said, we get one more item of your choosings. I'm gonna need a tombstone, bro. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm gonna need a tombstone. Uh, actually, I, I always, I always let the too. final two choose two items. Yes. So choose two items, please. I'm gonna need uh, a tombstone and another drone for Brawlo. Let me get another tombstone. It, it gotta be for Keza. Oh, for Keza earlier. All right, I'm right. putting the tombstone next to this computer station. Oh, my, this is sad, bro. <laughs> this is for Keza and for... It gotta be B. George. It, you, you put a grave for B. He George? Sa yes, yes. That's true. He did to. sacrifice. Uh, where's the Baz grave? Did, where's the, Where's that so, one? Uh, someone, someone, someone picked it up. up. What? Oh. Let me go. Let me go look over here. Who, who could have done that? It was Brolo! Brolo took the grave of Bez! Oh wow. no! Dude. Wait, that is why he got eliminated from the spinning wheel, because he picked up the grave and stole it and disrespected the Bez. Knew. The circle knows, bro. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, no, that's this... crazy. That is. That's wild. actually insane. Damn it, Brolo! If you hadn't done that, you wouldn't have been eliminated. At first, we didn't know why the circle had chosen Brolo to be eliminated, but once we found out Brolo stole the grave of Bez, it answered all of our questions. The circle truly does see all, and it will always serve justice. It was clear Free Tech and Duck were not leaving the circle, so I had them destroy the button since it's no longer being used in this challenge, and it was time to tell them what the last elimination challenge was going to be what actually is going to happen is every single person who is eliminated from this challenge will be coming back onto the no server way. into the oh discord God. and they will be voting for a winner and that's terrible as as, <laughs> as a jury they will be deciding who the that's winner terrible. is so you must plead your case on why you deserve to win the circle what did you do this challenge that got you to win did you make good relationships with people did you backstab people everything you did in the circle will come down to this moment be prepared because they have questions and they some of them are pissed all right because you know oh, a, lot no. of the, a lot of those guys didn't like the way they got eliminated or like thought they would go farther so sorry oh. if i put so much more stress on you guys Dude, no. i don't know if this will be more stress but it'll also be nighttime and everything will be dark and like oh. lights in. <laughs> so. Oh. and so it was 30 minutes away from the final elimination challenge the remaining two players had 30 minutes to mentally prepare on how they were going to convince the jury to vote for them to win it's crucial to get this right because players like azer who was eliminated within five minutes or keza who was eliminated second have no idea on what happened throughout the circle. So these are free unbiased votes. How are you guys feeling before they start loading in? You guys just uh, a little nervous? I'm feeling I'm feeling better. Now. Nerves are common. Yeah, I'm feeling good. It's go it's it's going I'm feeling good. And as the final two waited patiently in the circle, it was time for everyone to start connecting back to the server. Yo, what the hell's going on? Oh my god. Hey! Brawlo, how you doing? Kezo, how you doing? Yes. Alright, we got everyone. I'm gonna invite you guys back into the Discord. Everyone follow me, please. Everyone go ahead and take your seats in the order you were eliminated in this challenge. Gentlemen of the circle, 
I want to thank you guys for coming back to be a part of this ending. Welcome to the Tribal Council. This is your circle video, so you will be voting individually on the person you want to win. So whoever has the most votes wins the prize. One by one, you all can go up to the podium and ask any question to these players on why they deserve the money. All right, Azer, you're up. All right, this one I'm gonna direct at both of you. I noticed uh, that you guys had a total of four graves and there are six of us sitting over here. Why were two of us skipped over? We didn't have enough graves. Okay, so why'd you pick the four that you did? And why'd you skip two of us? They, they, we had the most moments together, the one that I picked. I mean, it's really no hard feelings, obviously. We got you know. as many graves as possible at the end. Yeah, we did. We couldn't fit for everyone. All right, great, great answers. Thank you, guys. All right, Keza. I have a single question. Free tech. In the second challenge of today's video, I secretly messaged you asking for advice on how to hit the NPC with the Molotov. Yes. You told me to aim approximately one to two feet above the NPC's head, when in reality I should have been aiming more in the region of three to four feet above the NPC's head. My question to you is simple and will define whether I vote for you. Free tech, if you truly love me, why do you hurt me? I didn't try to hurt you, man. I, I think the only reason why I threw it and it, hit the, and, it, and it hit the person is because I think I was running when I threw it, so I got a little bit more distance. No further questions, Your Honor. All right, OT Liam, go ahead. All right, cool, man. I don't know about the teams. What, what were the teams like uh, during this event for each of you? I was planning on being friendly with everybody. and I was on a team with, with Bralo and Keza. Okay. What was the other one? Free tech. I was just on a team with Baz. I just want to keep him alive for as long as I possibly could. I see. I see. All right, thanks, man. That's all I wanted to know. Appreciate it. All right, Baz, you want to go up next? Yeah. Okay. So, whose grave is that? Who died? Actually, um, after you died, Baz, was when the first grave was acquired and placed down in the circle. That was that was the item that I asked for because I was sad to see you go. Uh, I got another tombstone for Bralo because I was even more sad at the RNG. I think that's it. All right, B. George, the stage is yours. When it came to pressing the big red button that you weren't supposed to, what made you hesitate on pressing it? Personally, it's the, the big letters that said, do not press this button. Uh, what was the question again? All right, no, I'm not paying attention, all right. Oh no, okay, I got uh, it, I got it, okay. Why, I didn't press the button because why would I try to risk everything for just a possible win that isn't crazy? All right, I'm done. And then finally, we have our last contestant, Brawlo. Okay. For, uh, for Doc. I know we've both been, you know, in an alliance since the beginning of this challenge, and mm -hmm. uh, I, I gotta ask you, because, you know, like, at the end of the day, there has to be one winner. W w were you ever gonna plot against me? Like, were you ever planning to do any kind of a trail or any kind of way to, you know, be the winner? Uh, obviously, I'm gonna answer no, and I'm, I'm gonna try to convince you. Obviously, anybody would say no, but, um, I mean, the way that, that we reacted, ob obviously, to the, the circle, the way you were el eliminated, it's it's so sad. <laughs> we, we had such mixed emotions, like, we were obviously happy that we were still in, but um, I was super sad that you had to leave like that. Bravo, uh, is that all? I think so. Alright, so what will happen now is you all will be writing on your notes on who you will be voting for to win. And one at a time, we will go out to the water and submit your vote to the box. We'll go in order, so Izzer, you're up. I uh, wish I would have lasted a little longer, had some like, great ideas, great plans. No matter what happens, I'm gonna get out of there at some point. Of course, I was in the center, I thought I was on the corner, and uh, I fell right down straight. It's gotta be free to us for our teammates. What did to say? You gotta take risks sometimes. I was just doing what I knew best, and uh, I guess it comes down to this. Alright everyone, I appreciate you guys being a part of the 4th Circle video, but it's time to reveal who will be the winner of the $400 prize and the winner of the 4th Circle video. Yeah. Time to read the votes. The first vote... That chill looking guy, Doc. Oh. One vote for Doc. The second vote... Free Tech. Alright, this is one to one now. Here we go. Next vote. Doc. There's two yeah. votes, Doc. Mm. One vote, Free Tech. The third vote. Free Tech! Oh my yeah. god! Oh. There's, money. there's two votes, Doc. Two votes, Tech. Two votes left. The fifth vote. Free Tech is the fifth vote. <laughs> Final vote. There's three votes, Tech. Two votes, Doc. One vote left. 
duck. Oh, we oh, have oh, a oh, tie. Oh, no oh, way. Oh, my God. <laughs> Don't do it. Gentlemen, no, ain't no way. Gentlemen, I, I, I'm, I'm not kidding. Like, these votes were not changed for the video. Like, this is actually how you all vote and how you left the notes. So, like, everything will be seen in the video. But we do have a tie, which means whenever we have a 1v1 situation in my videos, oh, we will bro. always do a Wild <laughs> West 1v1. Everything about that voting was 100% authentic, and I even messed up by not having an odd amount of jury members. But I truly didn't think it would end up in a tie. But every time in my videos there's a 1v1 situation, we settle it in a Wild West 1v1. Gentlemen, face each other, please. Do you guys want to say any last words to each other? Oh, good luck, Tuck. I wish you luck. Gentlemen, turn around and take three steps forward. The winner of this Python duel will be the winner of the last to leave circle number four. When you hear my shot in the air, it will turn around and kill your opponent. Here we go. Oh. No, not let's go. Free Tech is the winner of the last to leave circle four. Congratulations, Free yes, Tech. A round of applause, guys. Give him a round of applause. Tech, congratulations, Tech. You're the winner. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, baby. Free Tech received his prize and is the winner of the fourth circle video. And if you haven't already, you should subscribe to the channel and help me hit a million subscribers this year.